Hey everyone, Epic here. One of the hardest things about starting Collapser is Elfbot and getting used to all of its features. The game is pretty hard to play without it, and I would recommend learning this stuff immediately. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to load Elfbot for Windows 10 users, uh, which is what most people have. And we're going to start just from first downloading the program up to some of the basic features uh, and scripts for it. I will provide a link in the description in this video back to the wiki page where you can find some more advanced scripts and features after you've kind of gotten a handle on this. Again, this is just a basic introduction. So starting from the beginning here, uh, once you're on the Collapser page, you'll want to go up here to uh, the wiki. Down here at the bottom, there is this uh, section right here for Elfbot. Um, and this is where we're going to go to the to download the Elfbot program. But before you do that, there is a trick. Your computer in Windows 10 is going to think that this is a virus. So, because it's basically hacking the game, so what we're going to need to do is uh, open up your Windows uh, security and go to View Security Dashboard. There is a way to permanently disable this in the future. Um, I'm not as savvy about it and quite lazy, so I'm just going to show you the lazy man's way to do it, but you can also permanently add this to your list of uh, bypasses. But for right now, what we're going to do is we're just going to go here to Virus and Threat Protection and Virus and Threat Protection Settings, Manage Settings, and turn off the real-time protection. So we're going to go ahead and get that turned off here just temporarily. You will have to do this every time that you turn on your bot. If you do have this on when you start up Elfbot, your uh, Elfbot will like self-delete some of the files. Uh, Windows will kind of shut it down. So then you basically have to re-download it and start all over again, and I've had to do that many a time. So we're going to go ahead and click download right here and save it. It does save as a RAR file. So if you um, haven't already and don't on your computer have 7-zip, uh, I'll Google it right here. 7-zip is a great free uh, program that you can download to, in order to extract this. So you do have to have 7-zip in order to do that. So now that we've got this here, we're going to go ahead and show in folder. This is where we've got it downloaded here. Uh, once you've got this pulled up, you're going to go ahead and uh, with your 7-zip, you can extract it here to your downloads or if you want to save it to a specific spot, which we will do here just for the sake of this video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this here just to my desktop um, and we're going to just label it Elf bot video and okay all right so now we will have elf bot video folder here uh, on there make sure to exit out all the freaking crap that uh, media fire pulls up all right now that you've got it downloaded here on your desktop we're gonna go ahead and open up uh, your collapser and then you'll also open up your elf bot video and then you'll go into uh, the loader application and you'll go ahead and boot that up again you do want to always select no skin if you pick anything else it's going to just bug the system and it's just not gonna work so now you've got Elfbot loaded up at this point in time you can go ahead and turn on your real-time protection just to make sure you don't get any viruses and stuff I think it's about two hours that Windows will automatically turn it back on for you I'm pretty lazy about doing it but again, uh, you're good to turn that back on now that you have booted the program. Again, if you do start this with that on, you will get it deleted and have to start all over for re-downloading it. Your character files will still sh stay there, but your actual bot you will have to re-download. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and log in. And I'm just going to select this on a, a lower level mage uh, just to do some testing and everything here to show you guys. All right, so now we've got Elfbot. Uh, you've got several different features uh, in here. Uh, most importantly, you're going to want to, we're going to learn about icons, and we're also going to do um, a little bit with uh, just the save feature in your character files. So starting out here, if you hit save, this will actually save underneath your character's name uh, within the program. So let me see if I can find it here. Uh, if you go to back to here, it is in elf settings right here you can see this file document logic this is now saved and when you boot it up every time if you just click load with that characters uh, logged in 
then you're just going to exactly load where you had last saved the program. Uh, if you end up downloading it or doing um, putting it in different files and folders, you can always select custom and then go find it wherever you have it downloaded at. I'll do that if I'm switching between computers or something like that when I'm on my laptop versus on my desktop. But again, since we have it saved in this folder, it's always going to stay here as long as we don't screw up uh, starting it and having to do anything funky. Uh, it'll always be saved there, but again, you can always move that file around. All right, so we've got that saved here for our character here. Um, the next thing that we're going to go through is icons. Pretty much this is the first start to everything that you're going to be able to do within the bot, all the different healing and fishing and mana functions in it. All these things you can uh, do as well through hotkeys. Um, hotkeys you can um, basically assign it to a specific thing on your keyboard. That being said, I do find it a lot easier just to do it through icons, and I'll show you why here soon. If you do want a little bit of like creating and finding out how to make your own uh, icons and uh, scripts, you can do it within Create Hotkey. Uh, it kind of gives you a little bit of tutorial of, of what you need to be doing here. Uh, it tells you all the different types of things and, and the syntaxes that you'll be putting in. It's kind of just basic programming at this point. Uh, that being said, we're going to go ahead and skip that for now um, and just go into the most commonly known ones and creating them within icons. Uh, so first off, uh, the first and most obvious one that we'll want to do is a healing one. So we're going to go ahead and just call this one healing. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and do left click. Uh, what we're going to set this one up with is auto 200. The 200 is basically just a timer for how often this repeats. 200 is one second. So if we were to do 400, it would be every two seconds. Uh, but for healing, you'll want to keep it at auto 200. That's a great place to start. The next thing is you can say list as. This will make sure that it labels the type of, uh, or labels the name of your uh, icon in the middle of the screen here. That way you can know which ones are active and not. It does help. Uh, this is completely optional though, but we're gonna go ahead and say list as healing. And then afterwards, we're going to add in this line here. Uh, that's the one that's just above enter uh, on your keyboard for putting in. Then we're going to go ahead and type in the actual script here. So we're going to say if, and then we're going to add in a bracket, dollar sign self.hppc is greater than or equal to. 90 say exura vita all right i know that was a lot there uh so looking through exactly what's happening here so if yourself health uh, points is less than 90 percent that's what we're doing we're putting it as a percentage here uh do or say Exura Vita, so then you heal. Um, and then, so that is going to be our left click action that happens. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to select is an icon ID. Uh, this is going to be whatever you want it to be. It's just simply um, a the picture that's gonna show up on our screen wherever we put this. To figure out what an icon ID is, if you shift click on something like these soft boots here, their ID is 3549. So let's go ahead and just use that since we have that here in front of us. There is a list on Wikipedia for the uh, list of all the icon IDs. So if you want to look up a specific thing, as long as it's within uh, the version that Collapser is, then you'll actually be able to just use that as, as your ID. So this is our inactive state side and our active state side. So I'm going to go ahead and just put soft boots on both sides. Um, I always just use these first boxes here. Don't really worry about the other boxes for now. Just use the first boxes. So when the when it is inactive and then it is switching to active it's staying as the soft boots uh, ID there now you can do a background ID as well if you want something kind of hanging in the background um, so for example we can just be random here and we can look at this uh, stone here which is three five one nine ironically pretty close so let's just do that just for kicks and giggles let's do a background stone on both of them when it's on and off 
uh, and your X position and your Y position. Uh, these are going to be just like a grid coming here from the top left of your screen. As you go down, these are your Y's, and as you go across, these are your X's. So if we start at the 0, 0 location, it's going to be all the way up in this top left location. For the text, uh, this is just going to be the text underneath the picture here. We're going to call it um, heel off and heel on. Now again, I'm a little over exaggerating here. You don't have to say off and on. It's just what we're doing here for the sake of it. Uh, you can also go ahead and select a picture as well, uh, or a color I mean. So let's say let's do red for when it's off. Again, just use the first one here. And then for when it's on, let's make it green. We'll keep this real simple here. And then if we turn this on by clicking it on here and then check the enable icons, you'll now see up in our top left corner we have heel off. So uh, if we go ahead and exit out of this here and hit save, this is now saved uh, that to our logic, our character file here, uh, so that way we don't lose it. So now if we turn on healing, okay, so it shows it down here uh, on our lists, or sorry, on our displayer here, we do want to check on screen info um, as well as general information, activated hotkey, short keys, this one for healing percentages, spell timers, player info, and show vocation. Uh, these are just the ones that I have selected on mine. I'm not even sure why I have half of these selected. Uh, you can go through and test some of these if you want to, but we're going to go ahead and save that. Going that, it does help us with some of our display stuff here, which will show like your ping experience and a few other things with as long as as well as your target. Now we can see now that we've got that selected, we're gonna see that healing that it was selected. Again, this is just your HUD display stuff. Sorry, I kind of skipped over that quickly, but just check all those things and just roll with it. All right, so now we show that we do have that healing. So we're gonna go ahead and go watch how this kind of comes into effect. So if we walk out, we're going to go somewhere we take some damage. And again, we have it set at 90%. So when my health bar drops below 90%, we're going to see that it's going to say Exura Vita. So there you go. We got some healing done just because we dropped below that percentage. All right. And we barely, barely stayed alive through all that. Cool, cool. All right. Standing back here, let's go through a couple more... Um, icon so that is our healing one which actually I'm kind of annoyed about it covering up there so we're gonna go ahead and drop it down a hundred and a hundred for when it's on and off so now it's in a little bit better of a spot there alright so let's go ahead and make a new one we're gonna call this one mana potion again this is just whatever name you want um, and I'm gonna get lazy and just start copying some of this stuff here so I do this as auto 100. Again, you can mess with it however you want, how your computer and lag works out for you. I like to just spam extra on the on the mana potions here, so this is every half second. So auto 100, list as, and we're going to call this one mana potion. List as mana potion. All right, so if your mana percentage is less than, and we're going to do 90% for this one, uh, this shows S mana self. This is for a strong mana potion. If you're using a regular mana potion, you would just use M mana, just leave it blank. Uh, you probably shouldn't be doing that because you can get these pretty quick. So this should maybe only be for the first like hour playing the game by the time you get a strong mana potion. After you get uh, the do the great mana potion quest, you can switch it and that would be a G. So it'd be G mana self. Um, and so we'll go ahead and save this here. Now, let's go ahead and for our icon ID, let's use our mana potion since we got it here. So it is 237. So again, we're going to do 237 and then 237. I'm going to keep it the same when it's on and off. Uh, background ID, let's just go ahead and leave that blank for now. Um, and then let's make it. So let's do um, 50 to shift it over to the right a little bit here. And let's drop it to the same level of our heel. So we're going to do 100. And again, I pretty much always make them in the exact same position on and off. If you want to change that, good on you. You're braver than me. Um, so for the text, we'll just call this one mana on. And we'll call this one mana off. OCD there. 
All right, and we'll go ahead and, oh man, mana off and mana on. The struggle is real. And then green there. All right, so we got our mana potion one here completed. I'm going to go ahead and make a quick edit on it. Let's just change it just to 50 and let's run a quick test on it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a Zeeble mana and we're gonna watch as this one goes through and it heals me up just to about that 50%. After that, it is going to stop. Sometimes there's a little bit of a lag or something like that in between just because I've got it set to repeat so quickly. But again, I'll err on the safe side here. But you can see as soon as it got there, that's when it started cutting it off. And there you have it, two basic scripts there for your elf bot. You'll be able to just copy and paste pretty much the rest of them that you need to from the list that are provided for you on the wiki. Again, you'll just make a new icon here and you can just add it to the left click. You can do right clicks if you want. I just find it easier just to make them underneath the left click. Just put a name and just go through it. Use whatever IDs you want and just put in the scripts and keep learning. Again, these are just the first basic ones you can get, but as you put in more and more, your character will be a lot more efficient and be able to train, hunt, and do a lot more PvP and be a lot more effective while you're... Uh, playing just because you're using the elf bot here.